Major Thomas C. Griffin. Now, if I can think of something to say, why? <laughs> well, uh, uh, Johnny just gave a brief outline of uh, my wartime career, and I think I'll start out telling you about the Doolittle Raid on Tokyo, but sort of uh, have a little uh, talk about what the world situation was in those weeks and months right after the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor. Okay, in the weeks and months right after the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor, our allies, the, the Russians and the English, were having an awful time in the European theater. The Nazis were driving the Russians back over the steppes of Russia towards their principal cities of Moscow and Stalingrad and, and uh, things were looking very bad over there. Rommel was in North Africa driving the British, our other allies, back towards Cairo <coughs> Excuse me, in the summer of, of uh, 42, spring and summer of 42. And in the Pacific, the Japanese, after the attack on Pearl Harbor, they thought they had a lot of time without, before we would ha be able to uh, cause them any trouble because they practically sat up, sank our Pacific nation in, in uh, Pearl Harbor. And uh, the uh, battleship boys thought those were the most important ships in the Navy. They came to learn later that, any, uh, that aircraft carriers were really the most important uh, ships uh, that were going to operate in World War II, but they didn't know that right then. They thought when they had sunk most of our Pacific fleet in Pearl Harbor, they had a long time to go. They didn't come to the Pacific coast of the United States. We thought they were coming. And I was in a twin-engine B-25 uh, group stationed up in the Pacific Northwest at the time of the attack on Pearl Harbor. <clears throat> 